The following is a presentation of Muddy River Sports. Welcome to another episode of Shuck on a Truck, brought to you by Schottenkirk Toyota. I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman, hanging out in Augusta, Illinois, where this guy right here hit a milestone victory this week. Tim Kerr, Southeastern Volleyball Coach, number seven, Mr. 700 now. Is that what we're going to call you from now I on? I think that's Coach Long's uh, <laughs> baby, so yeah, I guess we'll go with that for sure. Well, congratulations, 700th career victory uh, the, earlier this week. Um, you've been doing this a long time, haven't you? Long time, yeah. You know, I think uh, 28 years, I think. I, wow. Uh, this is my maybe my 30th year at Southeastern. Okay. Uh, I coached golf for two years yep. and then went right into volleyball and and uh, 28 years later, here we are. Now, not only are you head volleyball coach, uh -huh. you have some other duties here at the school, but you don't right. just coach volleyball all day, do you? <laughs> no, I don't. No, <laughs> no. I uh, started off my career as a math and science teacher, kind right. of taught chemistry and physics and math, and uh, kind of gently moved into um, academic advising and then administration, and got my master's degree in school leadership, right. and uh, I've been the principal here for, um, eh, I've been in administration for 10, 12 years or so yeah. now, I'd say. So what's what uh, what's more challenging, corralling a group of volleyball players and getting them to do one thing, or dealing with uh, the the students that, that roll through your office every day? Yeah, it's it's uh, different. That's different for yeah. sure. You know, it's, uh, different motivation tactics are needed sometimes. But uh, no, it's it's been pretty good. We've we're really blessed here at Southeastern with great uh, great kids and great people in the community, and you know our. Leadership well be well before me established a culture here at Southeastern that we're very proud of. We try to kind of live up to that, you know, each day and and uh, you know go back to guys like Mike Frey and Todd Fox yep. and you know uh, Terry Robertson before that even. So That's right. it's uh, yep. you know you, those are all names that you know and of course and uh, you know it's it's been nice to be able to follow in their footsteps and try to continue something versus having to start something from scratch. So well, there's a lot of cool things that go on with beyond the volleyball court. Um, just like when I pulled in today, we were sitting here talking. Augusta days are coming up, right. and the school is, is a part of this. So you're working on you get kids working on floats and right. and everything. It, it truly is. It's not just a school that sits out here in Augusta. It's a community. Yeah, definitely. You know, they, they put together Augusta days. Um, oh, it's probably been 10 or 12 years ago they started this, and it's uh, just kind of a little local town thing. They, you know, they have different. You know, kind of some vendors here and some different things and uh it's something that we started last year was with the floats with the, with the classes so gotcha. each, each of our classes seventh grade through 12th grade uh puts on a float and and uh goes through the parade and and uh, our marching band marches in the parade and stuff so yeah it's kind of a neat little thing it's 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 uh this year especially it's been good because the, the way the ihsa's calendar fell mm -hmm. um we were able to participate a lot more as far as uh, the, like our volleyball team and stuff right. usually usually we're on the way to near Berlin on, on Friday and Saturday True. and going there and so since it's a week a week week off we're able to you know be more involved in this and Good. you know we, we have a lot of kids do a lot of different things and, and you know we were actually scheduled to play the Unity JV volleyball tournament this week and this next weekend gotcha. and, and uh, we actually begged out of that and uh, we had I, I had three kids that were in the marching band and they're like well we need to march we need to play volleyball and you know our marching band's pretty small so i said you know what why don't you guys the marching go to, go to the marching band and we'll make do and then had a couple more kids come up and say well if we don't ride the float there won't be many people riding the float so i said so kyle, kyle and i got together and we talked down at, at the unity and they got someone else for us so yeah. it'll be uh, concentrated on just you know all augusta days well this weekend. i think that's what sometimes gets forgotten yeah you have your core group of volleyball players you mm -hmm. have your team but those kids are involved in other aspects. Yeah. And at a small school, yeah. if you take one person out of volleyball or one person out of marching right. band, yeah. you know, you can't really do that always. Yeah, no question. You know, and one of my my day job as a principal, I, I do uh, scheduling for kids, too, okay. and for their classes. And, you know, kids are like, oh, we can't take band and chorus and FFA and this and that and science club. And I go, yeah, you're right. We can't unless you want to stay here until 8 p.m. every night. <laughs> yeah, so right. there are, there is some picking and choosing that has to be done. But we do a good job of making sure kids are able to be involved in a lot of things. And, you know, you look at our all of our athletes and, you know, they're the, for the most part, they're at the top of the class academically. Yep. And they're, you know, they're leading our FFA. They're leading our science club. They're leading our um, FBLA, FCCLA, all those things. And so it's it's a good situation. I mean, I, I'm, I'm a product. I'm a product of this place. 
too. I graduated, right. you know, from here in 91 and lived about half a mile away from where we're sitting right now. And so uh, it's special to me to be able to continue to be here and kind of see the growth uh, in the community and in the, in the school. And, uh, you know, it's a good, just a good situation. It's been a, it's been a fantastic career. I wouldn't, awesome. I wouldn't change anything for a minute for anything. That's awesome. This is Chuck on a Truck brought to you by Sean Kirk Toyota. I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman hanging out on the tailgate with Tim Kerr, Southeastern Volleyball Coach and Principal here at the high school. Uh, and one of the reasons we came up here today was because you hit number 700, victory number 700 in your career. Um, how special was that the other night to, yeah. to, to hit that number? Yeah, so obviously I, people ask me, you know, where are you at in the number, career numbers, and my assistant coach Autumn truly does a great job with our with our squad, and she does a lot of things for us. And yeah. she 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 asked me early on in the year because she knew about this time we'd be rolling around to another hundred. And it's been for about you know a little bit less than four years ago when we hit six hundred. And, right. and uh, so I knew she had something planned. Something you know she <laughs> she mistakenly sent me some pictures, old pictures of when I coached earlier. And I said, what are these? I'm getting a bad feeling about this because they did a really good job of hiding everything from yeah. me until like the last two or three days. And uh, you know, I told her, I said, you know what, that's great, but we better win because it's going to be embarrassing if we, if everybody's here and then we don't win. So I said that was a uh, pretty good bulletin board material for Liberty, you yeah. know, having, having everybody show up. And But uh, no, it was, it was really special. You know, my family came, my, my mom and my sister and, and uh, you know, some of them were there, a lot of, a lot of old players and good. they had a nice slideshow and everything. It was uh, it was also the debut of our hype video, so that was kind of awesome. cool. So, a lot of nice things, and you know, I had cake and ice cream afterwards and, and stuff. So got to see a lot of people, and obviously, uh, you know, the publicity through Facebook and through yeah. text messages and emails have been, it's been fantastic. And it's, uh, you know, it's very humbling, and, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm an old old baseball player, basketball player from Southeastern that didn't know much about volleyball, and finally kind of eventually kind of learn, pick up things after 28 years. And <laughs> I think your 28 years have been okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh <laughs> So it's it's still like a humbling experience just to be able to you know people reach out and I appreciate every one of them and it's uh, it's nice to uh, nice to know you're appreciated for sure. Yeah. Well, okay. So one of the cool things we're sitting here outside Southeastern High yep. School doing this. The train just went by. I'm yeah. sure people could hear it in the background. Yeah. It goes right by the baseball field. Right. Which I have always loved. I remember coming out here yeah. when I was in high school. Yeah. Um, yeah. And stuff and and. Again, the field's a little nicer than it was back when we were in high school. <laughs> right, for sure. But uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it's still a cool thing. And just, the, you know, the uniqueness yeah. of where we're located. No question. It is kind of neat. And I remember, you know, I, I played here. And I, really, I was – baseball was my sport. I played basketball and golf, too. But I was yeah. better at baseball. And I remember playing – I mean, I played on this field for, you know, a thousand years. And yeah. as a left-handed hitter, I always had the always had the sun in my eyes in the evening. So I didn't like that. Yeah. But, you know, I remember – I think it was a, my, maybe my freshman or sophomore year, and Scott Dooley was one of the best yep. players I ever, you know, played with or against. And he he hit a ball that I think went all the way into the almost to the tracks. That was probably the farthest ball I've ever seen hit at that, that point in my life. So uh, it, it is cool, you know. And you, sometimes it's and I'm glad you brought it up because sometimes you're just so used to it that yeah. you know trains pass and you don't notice them. But yeah. it's neat to need to see that. And like I said, I grew up just just half a half a mile away and I you know I had I yeah. had trains go by me the whole time so it is kind of a cool atmosphere and it's one of those things kind of you see on movies sometimes well it's it's funny because we both graduated from high school the same year yeah and um I look back on coming out here um during those days and that's when I first got to know coach wise good right and, sure yeah and, and how cool that was to to get to know him then and then he goes on has you know oh yeah at that point he was a legend <laughs> well, it's funny. And then it just it's funny because when he broke the, when he started to get close to breaking the record uh -huh. for the state, you know, we looked and tried to find just different, uh, you know, clippings from the newspapers and things. Yeah. And I remember I, distinctly. I remember it, we found a clipping. It was from 1973, which is the year that I was born. Yep, same year. You were born. Yep. And it, the the headline said, "Veteran baseball coach Dave Slyskin." So <laughs> he was a veteran in '73. So that tells you he's been around for a while. Okay, over 900 victories, winning as yeah. high school coach in, in yep. Illinois history. Yep. Are you going to get to 900? Oh man, I don't know. I've got <laughs> I've got four more years, and I can retire, and and I think I might take advantage of that. Uh, yeah. You know, it's been something, but you know, there, these days it's uh, you have you have a lot of a lot of people that come around and you know continue to 
um, you know, continue to work in schools and come back part time, and uh, that's kind of the nature of the of the business right now. It's just for trying; it's hard to find people. And well, one and, of those jokers has been running yeah, around here on a, <laughs> on a on a gator. And yeah, he's been a, he's been a blessing <laughs> for us this year for sure, definitely. The um, okay, but obviously, okay, we've been talking about number seven hundred, yeah, and, and, yeah. and the career and stuff. But you got a really good team this year. I'll, right, won your first eight matches as we record yep. this. Um, obviously, Amanda and Kara Stevens have been a big help, but you you got some depth there with Kenzie Gr- Griswold. And, yeah. I mean, this isn't just one or two kids. You got a you got a pretty solid team, right? Yeah, we do have some depth and have some ability beyond the two Stevens girls for sure. And, you know, as I you know as I look back at Amanda's career, I, obviously it's her senior year this year. You, yep. know, you look back at when she's a freshman, we get second in the state. And, you know, right. we're just gonna kind of project forward and think, you know, is that the best team she's ever gonna play on? In high school, you know, and, right. and it, with small schools, you know, you you don't have the luxury of having five or six seniors every year. So you know, you're gonna borrow from different grades, and you just hope that you have kids, two or three kids from each grade level, that you know end up being contributors. And you know, right now we've got you know four sophomores that are playing a lot for us. Right. You know, two that's to care obviously being one, and Tegan being one, and yep. and uh, you know Jalen and Morgan doing that as well. So really, we have basically one junior and and uh, you know a couple seniors. So it's it's one of those things where you know. It, it, it'd be it'd be nice to say you know this is you know you'll think about college basketball and you have those 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 really good teams those mid major teams that have a bunch of seniors yeah. that you know can really can kind of compete no and, doubt. you know and unfortunately we rarely have that so you know we're looking at basically having a combination of experience and youth at the same time almost every year and that even you know, go back and you know four years ago and Amanda was a freshman and yeah. and Abigail was a sophomore that year so starting so um, it, it, it's in, it's interesting but I think that also you know, helps you down the road. You know, you have kids that are like sophomores and freshmen playing now that are going to, you know, remember these years. And and when and they're seniors, exactly they have that experience. To correct, you know, and, and they've been there before. And it's, it's nice yep. for them to be able to, to to transition in. You know, they have, obviously, Amanda's our, Amanda's our number one go-to. And, mm-hmm. and you know, there'll be a time when that's going to be them and they're going to be able to, right. you know, reach back on those experiences and remember how Amanda played. And, you know, go, I mean, Amanda, I'm sure, is, is, is um, you know, gleaning some things from, like, when Taylor Wagner was a, a senior when right. she you know, and and so it's a nice situation. And yeah, we we feel like that you know if we stay healthy and, and are able to you know ball bounces the right way for us, we're going to be you know in class one a pretty 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 good. I think. So you, so you have a few more victories ahead of you this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Do you think back? Do you remember victory number one? Man, I don't. Um, I remember the first year. Uh, I do remember. Uh, I remember one one specific match in year one, and I remember the year before that we were there were sixteen and sixteen. Okay. And I would have been the golf coach. Yeah. And uh, the, the the volleyball coach spot opened, and I, uh, I mean, I I played some sand volleyball in my life with my parents, and okay. you know, there was a uh, kind of a you knew enough. I knew I knew enough to at least know what the volleyball looked like, and not pick up a basketball or baseball. Yeah. So, <laughs> but uh, I didn't know a whole lot about the ins and outs and. And uh, I remember that we had a lot, pretty much, I think it was all six starters were back from the previous year that were 16 and 16. So okay. I relied on them a lot. Yeah. You know, they, they knew what was going on and they knew rotations and they kind of knew things. And, and we just kind of learned and read some books and watched some videos. And, and uh, I do remember that year in postseason, that was back when the regionals were more stagnant, where you had the kind of the same teams every right. year almost. Yep. And I remember there was a five team regional and uh, all five teams were had over 20 wins, oh, I remember. Wow. Okay. And I we were the number four seed. Um, even industry was the, the five seed, and they had 23, 24 wins as well. So um, Macomb was really, really good that year. They had a girl named, I think it was Aaron Runzer, who was uh, just a stud. And they were state-ranked and really, really good. And, of course, the Colchester Beast was in that mess. And yep. they, they were normally – they they usually ran the – you know, they usually they, won every year. Yes. And uh, I remember we played Rush. We played Macomb. And, again, they were – they were something in one, I think, 32 and one, something like that. And I remember we we beat, we knocked them off in the regional. And I remember Greg Phelps was on the call. And I remember yeah. that's a first, probably one of my first interviews with him. And I remember him have the he had the Ric Flair woo call at the end. And I remember that distinctly. And <laughs> I great. swear to you, I think that's that great. if I would if there would have been an election in Colchester, I would have been able to win 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 the mayor <laughs> oh, election I because they were certainly more happy to play us than they were to yeah, play McComb. And, and then they beat us in the next round of the regional championship. And that, that was that's my biggest recollection as far as that first year uh, in terms yeah. of a specific games. Okay, well, this, that's funny because think about this now. That's how long you've been doing this. Yep. 
there is no longer an industry high school. <laughs> right. There's no longer a cold high school. Like we've seen so many changes Absolutely. over the years. Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it, the game itself has changed so much too, yeah. you know, with rally scoring and things like that. So, and it's evolved and, you know, you look back and, and uh, you know, Angela Wagner who played played at Colchester for Terry mm -hmm. Paul, and she's my, one of my assistants as well. And she went to the state tournament. And you go back and you you look at some of those videos, and it's I mean, it's the same game, but it's just evolved so much. Right. It's quicker, and you know, big strong kids, and uh, you know, it's 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 a good thing. Well, you've uh, you've had quite a career. Uh, I know the numbers are there, but it's the it's the relationships, it's the impact, it's the being part of the community that matters as much as, if not more, sure. than the wins, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. It's funny that, uh, you know, I'm talking to Dwayne on, on his show uh, uh -huh. the other day just about how he mentioned that I seem like I, I enjoy talking with other teams about as much as I do I, my teams. That's just something that I've kind of started and, and I've done for a while is, you know, I'm just yeah. kind of kind of mess with other teams and kind of befriend them and so it's nice to be able to to do that and just kind of go out and just show that it's obviously you're in competition but it's also you're kind of on the same team as far yeah. as just playing the same game and loving the same sport and and uh just being able to i mean i can't tell you how many how many people not only from southeastern that play volleyball but other from other schools who yeah. you know will see me and see me at walmart or see me wherever and you know we'll you know reminisce yeah. about the old days and stuff so it's nice that's for awesome sure. Well, thank you for taking time to do Absolutely. it with me today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Congratulations. I've always wanted to be on the truck. There you so, uh, hey. like buck, go. Bucket list. There you go. Park. There yes. you go. <laughs> and maybe it won't be the last time. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe come, and I haven't even looked at the calendar yet to know the dates, but uh, sure. maybe come November, we get all the lady sons in the bed of the truck celebrating a state trophy. Oh, oh boy. I'll tell you what. That'd be, we'll do that. We'll okay. Do that for sure. Awesome. <laughs> well, good. Well, congratulations again. Yep. Thanks for the time. You bet. And we'll Absolutely. do it. Let's do it again sometime. That's, it's been awesome. Thank okay. you very much. Awesome. Okay. Right. For Tim Kerr, I'm Matt Shuckman. This has been another episode of Shuck on a Truck brought to you by Schottenkirk Toyota. Muddy River Sports. Our home. Our sports.